right friends welcome back to questions and answers for 35th week look at the first one madhukar gupta committee has submitted its report on border protection between india and pakistan almost 3300 kilometers of a border exists between india and pakistan and if someone talks about the lengths of border between india and pakistan jammu and kashmir shares 1225 kilometers of border with pakistan and it is followed by rajasthan with 1037 kilometers so india pakistan border if someone talks about the lengths jammu and kashmir 1225 kilometers followed by rajasthan 1037 kilometers and here the problem areas include river in stretches and installation of laser fencing and special precautions at the river in frontiers are the main issues and madhukar gupta was the former home secretary this committee was established after pathan court terror attack look at the next one that is tvsn prasad committee submitted its report with regard to alternatives to pellet guns all of you are well aware usage of pellet guns created a lot of controversy in jammu and kashmir and now the committee recommended chilly filled grenades they are also known as noni vamite or otherwise pava shells pava means pelargonic acid vanillyl amide so pava shells were recommended as an alternative to pellet guns and already 1000 numbers of pava shells have been sent to jammu and kashmir and in future as a crowd dispersal mechanism this pava shells will be used in place of pellet guns look at the next issue prime minister launched a sauni yojana project in gujarat this sauni yojana is saurashtra narmada avataran irrigation yojana and this is basically filling the dams in saurashtra region with the network of canals or pipelines and all together 1126 kilometers of pipelines will be used to fill the dams in saurashtra region you may ask where is saurashtra please look into this slide this is saurashtra and important city situated in saurashtra is rajkot and on one side gulf of kutch and on the other side gulf of khambat other name for gulf of khambat is gulf of kambe and other side arabian sea so this is the region of saurashtra with important city rajkot vijay rupani the chief minister hails from rajkot then 11 districts finally will be benefited out of this sauni yojana project and finally 10 lakh acres will be irrigated in saurashtra region and important aspect is excess flood waters of narmada river will be used to fill dams in saurashtra region and the first phase was inaugurated recently by the prime minister look at the next issue this is padma sachdev received 2015 saraswati samman award i would like to tell you few things about saraswati samman award and vyas samman award saraswati samman award carries 15 lakhs cash prize vyas samman award carries 2 and 1/2 lakhs cash prize and saraswati samman award is given for the writings in any indian language mentioned in 8th schedule of the constitution and published during the past 10 years whereas the vyas samman award is only for recognition in hindi writings and this is the basic difference and these two were established by kk birla foundation in the year 1991 and if you look at the saraswati samman award the first recipient was harivansh rai bachchan and now come back to the present padma sachdev got the award for her autobiography that is a chit chat written in dogri language and don't forget dogri is the language which is included in 8th schedule of indian constitution this is very important point 8th schedule of indian constitution at present has got 22 languages India and Myanmar signed four MOUs or agreements when president of Myanmar Tin Gya visited India and 
important agreements include construction of 69 bridges including approach roads of trilateral highway and all the important aspects we discussed under news caps you last week please listen to it look at the next one international day against nuclear tests was observed on 29th august and united nations general assembly instituted this in the year 2009 you may ask what is the significance of august 29 please look into this slide you will clearly understand this is the place called semi palatinsk semi palatinsk is in kazakhstan don't forget kazakhstan was part of the then ussr till 1991 and when kazakhstan was part of ussr ussr conducted 456 nuclear tests between 1949 and 1989 so during the period 40 years ussr conducted 456 nuclear tests and this semi palatinsk is in present day kazakhstan and august 29 coincides with the closure of this semi palatinsk nuclear test site in 1991 right friends look at the next issue that is solar powered juno spacecraft Juno this is launched by NASA and basically to explore Jupiter Jupiter is the largest planet in the solar system and this solar powered Juno spacecraft was launched by NASA in the year 2011 and it reached Jupiter in July 2016 and it is a solar powered mission basically it is to see what is there beneath Jupiter's clouds and it has got nine instruments to study atmosphere gravity magnetic field and other parameters unified payments interface this became operational recently and nodal authority is npci and it allows customers to make real time payments with virtual payment address with the vpa money transfer is possible and all the bank account details will be at the back end and npci is the nodal authority for unified payments interface another important point is don't forget regulator for all digital payments is reserve bank of india look at the next one india became the fourth nation to test scramjet engine and two things instead of carrying oxidizer it uses atmospheric oxygen that is one important point and it works on the principle of air breathing propulsion system so if someone talks about air breathing propulsion that is nothing but scramjet experiment which was conducted by isro recently and do not forget the chairman of isro is as kiran kumar and he is also secretary to department of space and at the same time he is the chairperson of space commission and this satish dhawan space center is situated at sriharikota andhra pradesh and vikram sarabhai space center is at tumba tiruvananthapuram look at the next one 2012 london olympics bronze medal of yogeshwar dat will be upgraded to silver and the sport we are talking about is wrestling he got a bronze medal in men's 60 kg freestyle category and recently in the dope test silver medalist besik kuduko failed because of the failure of dope test now the medal of yogeshwar dat will be upgraded from bronze to silver and if you look at individual silver medals he will become the seventh silver medalist the two fifth after independence this is subject to the final confirmation of silver medal to yogeshwar dat please look into this slide individual silver medal winners two medals before independence to norman pitcher and after independence pv sindhu rajavardhan singh rathod vijay kumar sushil kumar and now if the medal is upgraded for yogeshwar dat he will become total the seventh medal for 
India as far as individual silver is concerned. And don't forget, India got one silver medal in field hockey. So, with this, total medals for India subject to the final confirmation of uh, upgradation from bronze to silver for Yogeshwar Dutt. Out of total 28 medals, gold 9 medals, silver 8 medals and bronze 11 medals. This is subject to the final confirmation of uh, upgradation of Yogeshwar Dutt medal from bronze to silver. This is very important. Look at the next one. PV Sindhu is appointed as the brand ambassador of uh, CRPF. CRPF is under the Ministry of Home Affairs and it is the world's largest paramilitary force with around 3 lakh personnel and she will be given the rank of Honorary Commandant. This is equal to the position of Superintendent of Police as per the news reports. Look at the next one. During 2011-15, name the world's largest arms importer. As per the news report, during the five-year period of 2011 to 2015, India is the world's largest arms importer, which accounted for 14% of total global imports. Singur is in the news recently. It is in West Bengal and recently Supreme Court quashed the acquisition of 997 acres of agricultural land by the then West Bengal government led by CPIM for Tata Motors nano car plant in Singur. And now Supreme Court stated that the land should be given back to the landowners. Look at the next one. GDP growth during April-June quarter is 7.1%. It is a slightly lower than the anticipated and at the same time during the January March quarter it was 7.9 percent and the figures for uh, this GDP growth are released by Central Statistics Office under the Ministry of Statistics and Program Implementation and uh, agriculture, mining, construction sectors could not grow on expected lines but Private final consumption expenditure has grown by around 12%. That means there is a demand for consumption in the country because of huge population. Look at the next one. Which of the following became the first private bank to hit the capital market since 2005? And recently, RBL Bank. RBL Bank is the private sector bank. World Generation Private Sector Bank, headquartered in Kolhapur in Maharashtra. Recently, it was listed in the stock exchanges and the last private bank to list in the stock exchanges is S Bank in 2005. If you look at public sector banks, the latest public sector bank to list in stock exchanges is the Punjab and Sindh Bank somewhere around 2010. Now, RBL Bank has gone for initial public offer and subsequently listed in the stock exchanges. Look at the next one. Scorpion submarines are built in India with a technical collaboration with the DCNS. DCNS belongs to France. If you want more, please listen to Read Between the Lines last week. Look at the next one. FATCA is in the news recently. This is intergovernmental agreement with the United States of America. This is Foreign Account Tax Compliance Act. It came into force on 31st August 2015. Look at the next one. Project Development Fund with a corpus of rupees 500 crore was cleared by the Union Cabinet for CLMB countries. CLMB countries, look into this, these are underdeveloped countries in ASEAN. Look at this, ASEAN, group of 10 countries. So, now Indian government, that is the Union Cabinet, cleared a proposal to establish Project Development Fund with a corpus of rupees 500 crore, basically to explore business opportunities in CLMB countries. Subsequently, once we invest in CLMB countries, then we can have access to their free trade partners. Right? Look into the next one. 
that is uh, cement companies were fined rupees 6700 crores of rupees for cartelization fair trade regulator in india is competition commission of india if someone talks about the fair trade the regulator is competition commission of india please look into this slide these are examples of cement companies ultratech Ambuja, Ramco, JP, Dalmia, these are examples of cement companies and they came together and artificially jacked up the price that is cartelization. The cement companies came together and with ulterior motto, they jacked up the prices of cement in the country and because of cartelization, Competition Commission of India fined rupees 6700 crore. If you look at other options given, FSSA is the food regulator, insurance sector regulator is IRDAI, CCIL that is the Clearing Corporation of India Limited is basically for remittances when trading takes place in government securities, money market instruments and foreign exchange transactions. Right. So, look at the next question. On September 1, 2016, which of the following celebrated Diamond Jubilee? If some organization completes 60 years of its establishment, it is called Diamond Jubilee and LIC recently celebrated Diamond Jubilee. Look at the next one. Annual La Tomatina festival was celebrated recently in Spain. Certain festivals, please don't forget, La Tomatina festival. Basically, here thousands of tomatoes will be thrown at people. This is the festival being enjoyed in Spain. And all of you are familiar with the San Fermin festival. This is basically running of bulls. And a dog meat festival. This is controversial and the festival belongs to China. Look at the next one. Which of the following cannot act as both the proof of identity and proof of address? And as per the documents for know your customers. RBI listed six documents. Out of six documents, all five can act as both the proof of identity as well as address, but except pawn card. So, this Aadhaar, then driving license, then voter ID card, then passport, then Mahatma Gandhi Narega job card. These five can act as both the proof of identity and the proof of address. If there is no change in address, then these five can act as both the proof of identity and address. You need not produce any other document. But PAN card will act only as proof of identity and for address proof, you have to submit other document. This is very, very important. If you look at KYC, look at the next one. In Logistics Performance Index, this is released by World Bank and it is released once in two years. And in 2016, Logistics Performance Index, India raised 19 places. Its rank increased to 35. And in Logistics Performance Index, Six factors are there. One is the customs clearances, then infrastructure, then international shipments, then logistics quality and competence. These are the things which are looked after by the World Bank when it gives this logistics performance index. And the top three countries are naturally European countries, Germany, Luxembourg, Sweden. Look at the next one. Government of India allocated rupees 14,000 crore for a fame scheme. It is to promote electric and hybrid vehicles. You may ask what is meant by fame India? Fame India is foster adoption and manufacturing of hybrid and electric vehicles in India. And this is monitored by the Ministry of Heavy Industry and Public Enterprises. And it is part of National Electric Mobility Mission Plan 2020, which was launched in the year 2013, basically to give impetus to electric vehicles. Here, incentives on electric and hybrid vehicles is up to rupees 29,000 for bikes and 1,38,000 for cars. 
basically to promote electric vehicles and the government's ambitious target is to achieve 6 to 7 million sales of hybrid and electric vehicles year on year from 2020 onwards so every year from 2020 onwards government's target is to achieve around 6 to 7 million sale of hybrid and electric vehicles so if someone talks about the fame india this is with regard to promoting the hybrid and electric vehicles center sets up a panel to suggest steps to promote the card payments Basically, government wants to promote digital payments. With the promotion of digital payments, black money can be reduced. And this committee is headed by Ratan P. Wattle, former finance secretary. The committee will also look at the options of giving incentives to card-based transactions. Per transaction limit under unified payments interface is kept as rupees 1 lakh and UPI, nodal agencies, and PCI. Indian Railways launched an insurance scheme for passengers traveling on e-ticket and the passengers with a premium of just 92 paise, they will be insured up to rupees 10 lakh. If some accident takes place, some death occurs, then 10 lakh will be paid. 10 lakh for death or total disability. 7 and a lakh for partial disability and up to rupees 2 lakh for hospitalization expenses. Right, look at the next one. Five day long annual socio religious Solong festival. This is agro based festival of Adi tribe and the state we are talking about is Arunachal Pradesh. This tribe not only live in Arunachal Pradesh but also live in Tibet autonomous region China. Look into the next question. India and Vietnam signed 12 agreements or MOUs when our Prime Minister visited Vietnam. Two important aspects. The Prime Minister announced a grant of $5 million for the establishment of a software park in Telecommunications University in Natrang. And at the same time, the Prime Minister announced line of credit of $500 million for facilitating deeper defense cooperation. So, these two things are very important. Look at the last question. This is uh, Attapadi Valley Irrigation Project. This is the bone of contention between Tamil Nadu and Kerala. Just like Mullapiriyar Dam, this is also the bone of contention between Tamil Nadu and Kerala and this is situated on the river Siruvani. Siruvani is the interstate river and sub-tributary of Kaveri river and Tamil Nadu requested the centre not to allow the project till a final award by Kaveri tribunal. Right friends, with this let us conclude the questions and answers. Please do join for news capsules. Have a nice day. Thank you.